Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? It's Latif. Welcome to episode eight. We're doing good so far. Um, I'm having a good time. Uh, I'm kind of really feeling this, and I I hope you guys are too. Um, Some good news today. um, The podcast got picked up by Spotify. It got picked up by Stitcher. And it got picked up by... um, what was the only one got picked up? Oh, I'm trying to see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, okay. Uh, let me see. So we got picked up by Spotify, Spotify, Stitcher, and uh, Spotify and Stitcher so far. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know why I thought there was a third one. It wasn't. Um, so anyway, that's that's good news. Uh, now I just have to uh, keep it going, man, so we can really build this thing. And what I'm hoping with this is that we can bring awareness to the genre. You know, people, I want people to realize, you know, my idea behind this and behind the videos and everything else I do and, and the books as well is to bring awareness to the genre because it's not going to maintain or sustain with just me or with just my crew or with just you know you know the, the regulars you know we really need to to build it i have a lot of a lot of hope for the genre and it's really not even for me or even for my artists i mean we've been there we've done that my intentions or to keep it going for future generations. I would love to see new acts come on board. And, and I, I, I'm not trying to diss anybody, but I'm not talking about, you know, the acts that have been trying to do this for the last 30 years. I'm talking about brand new acts. I'm talking about kids. I'm talking about, you know, teens. And this goes for artists as well as producers, you know, I I believe that this is what can help, you know, really, really take this genre and it's kind of really run with it. It is a legitimate genre. You know what I'm saying? You know, we have huge shows all over the country. People, I mean, you could go to Brazil, you could go to Bolivia, you could go to Peru, you could go all over the world, you could do Germany, you could do Canada, Mexico, uh, and that's not even including the U.S., and and people love the genre, they, I mean, they really, and the fans are true fans, they really support this, and I don't like to undermine this, you know, um, I get people that pull me up all the time, or they'll call me, I have people that call me just to talk, and They'll call me, and I get a lot of the, and it's funny because a lot of those calls come in from out of the country. So I have people that call me in from, call from Canada, um, they'll call from Germany, and all they do, all they want to know, they just want to talk. They want to talk about, about the genre. My number is very accessible. I'm pretty accessible if I'm not busy. I do pick up the phone. Um, Phone's not always a good idea. That's, that's the one I, but Social media, if you're you're contacting me, you know, DMs are kind of rough because I get so many that uh, I just hate opening that thing. Uh, but if you if you leave me a post, um, some people leave a text, some people reply to a, a, a post, whatever. I try to do my best to 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 get back to everyone, you know. But you know, I guess some of these people that call and. They're so passionate about it. And, and sometimes they'll call me at a time when 
things are a little rough. <clears throat> We're not getting as much work coming in um, as we usually do, or <clears throat> there's some sort of uh, uh, tension going on in the genre. And you know, I'm human. Excuse me, I gotta drink some of my tea. Angel says I have to drink tea when I do the podcast <clears throat> because my voice gets very raspy. I thought it was sexy. So, but she says she says it's sexy, but it, you guys might not think it's sexy. So, but anyway, so I gotta drink this tea. It's throat coat. It's what she uses when she sings. It's a secret. It's a secret ingredient. Don't don't tell her I told you. But anyway, <clears throat> so, but anyway, um. So yeah, so we get you know we get a lot of people that are you know really passionate in 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 the market and you know I just want to see it I really want to see it thrive I I don't need to continue to be an agent or even a manager but no but st- I'm always going to be a part of the genre I'll write books for them I'll produce plays for them. I'll do more videos. Um, I just, I just love the whole layout of what it's about, you know. And I'm always trying to encourage people to to go out there and do their thing, you know. Uh, George Lamont caught me today. He has a podcast now that he's working on called The Talk. So if you guys have not heard of it, um, you need to find him. <clears throat> you can find him on Instagram. I believe it's at. Uh, I'll say George Lamont. I don't know what his, I forgot his, I didn't memorize his uh, his handle. <clears throat> but his podcast is called The Talk. And man, I, I think it's a great idea. And there's other podcasts out there. And I think, um, I think we need, you know, it, it's not just about this one. If you guys are only listening to me or only listening to someone else or only fans of this artist or only fans of that artist or only go to these shows or only listen to this station, then we're failing. We cannot do that. That's not the way this works. Forget about competition. There is no competition. There's so much to go around. Look at hip hop. Hip hop, there's probably thousands of podcasts, thousands of videos, thousands of internet radio stations. There's magazines, there's online magazines, paper magazines. I mean, Come on. And it's still a billion dollar business. So people have to get off of that whole competition. You know, reach out, try to help the others. You know, if you, you know, we, we, we really need to come together. Now people might say, Oh, that's kind of hypocritical, man. Cause you got freestyle against phonies. Freestyle against phonies is not a hate group. We've spoken about this before. Anyone who wants more information, we can either talk about it another time, or you could you could contact me, or go on the page and, and take a look at it for yourself. Okay, but no, my intentions is not to divide this genre. My intentions are to bring everyone together, but my intentions are also to weed out all the bullshit in it. Okay, so people say, oh, you know, <clears throat> that's why you know I have people to say, yeah. I, that's why I can't take the genre serious. Ah, whatever, man. Step off. Go go listen to some country music. I don't care. People will tell me, oh, I'm, uh, that's why I'm not into, I'm not into freestyle anymore because of all the drama. I bet they never even went to a show. They never bought a record. They don't do anything anyway because anyone who has a true passion for it is not going to go anywhere. They're not going to go anywhere. They're going to sit there. They're going to listen whether they get involved or not. It doesn't matter. Listen, drama happens everywhere. Hip hop, hip hop, they're killing each other. You kidding me? (laughs) They shoot each other. We haven't gotten there yet. (laughs) So, so forget, you know, this is bubblegum drama. This is bullshit arguing. Like, I don't know if you guys ever seen that YouTube video of the old, the two old guys fighting in the street. Yo, it's the hilarious, it's the funniest video I've ever seen. You need to check it out. I don't even know what it's called. <clears throat> but it's two really old guys fighting in the street. And, and they're falling. It, it was hilarious. That's what it reminds me. That's what the freestyle stuff reminds me. Everybody wants to fight. Leave it alone, man. 
Say what you got to say. Move on. Be intelligent. Don't, don't be an idiot by showing how much of an idiot you are by saying idiot stuff. Move on. Move on. If you don't like certain things, step off, man. Go. Go. And nobody needs you. You know? So we have some really great fans and great supporters in the genre. And those are the ones that I truly appreciate. You know? Yeah. Hey, listen. You know, a little, a little tension here and there is fine. It's healthy. It shows that we're alive. It shows that we have a pulse. It shows that there, there is passion on both sides of the spectrum. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's normal. Families fight. You know, families have disagreements. You know, the deception, so what? There's deception in all over, in every business you can think of. There's cutthroat in every bit. You could you can own a pantyhose manufacturing company, and trust me, your competitor is trying to cut your throat. It's business, man. Stop taking it personal. I don't take this stuff personal. I fight phonies. I don't take it personal. Once I leave the group, I'm not thinking about them. I'm trying to build. I'm trying to do other things. You know? So and, and I want to encourage others to see what I'm doing and, as, and, and my crew and my people around us and, you know, see what we're doing. Either join us or maybe do your own. Call me. You'll be surprised at how much advice I would give you. Unless you think I don't know shit, that's on you. But I know a little something. Call me. Pick my brain. I'm here to share. I'm good. I can tell you so much. I can tell you things that you think are secrets and they're not secrets you know on how to do this or how to do that I've been doing it for a very long time and I'm pretty good at it so you know but anyway uh so you know so that's where we stand you know it's where we stand with this and um you know I just want people to understand where we're at you know most most of us are pretty much are in our 50s we got some that might be in their 40s. Susie just, little Susie just hit 40 years old. Listen, you know, little Susie hit 40. You're old as shit. Okay? So realize where we're at and try to think, what are we going to do? The last 10 years flew by. It flew by. I swear, I, I can remember things I did in my very early 40s. I'm talking about in this business. It was like yesterday. So the next 10 years are gonna fly by. What are we doing? What do we do? This is the stuff that messes with me. Some people, they, they, they see, anybody who's gonna <clears throat> brush it off and say, ah, he's getting too carried away with it. Uh, ah, he gets too serious about it. it ain't, it's not all that serious. Nah, man, trust me, trust me, when you're, when you get older and you start to reminisce and you start to think back, everything I'm saying, you're going to remember, you're going to, it's going to, it's going to trigger, it's going to trigger. See, this is what I do. I try to put myself in that place. I've had regrets. I can look back at just the last few years and have regrets. I can look back and say, Wow, I remember when we were doing this, I should have took advantage of that. And that was only like five years ago. So just imagine when I'm in my 70s or 80s. I don't want to regret anything. I love what we're doing. I enjoy what we're doing. I really do. I like to see what you guys are doing. Now, you know, people think, oh, you know, you know, there's no talent in freestyle. Listen, I don't know. Maybe that's our shit. Maybe that's, that's what makes us tick. You know, anybody, if you notice, anybody who talks like that, they ain't doing nothing. <laughs> they usually want to be artists, never made it, want to be DJs, never made it. They were part of the industry at one point, decided to, oh, yeah, I left because there was no money. No, you left because nothing was, nothing was uh, popping for you. That's why you left. I'm not stupid. <laughs> you know? But... You know, we don't want to look back and we, we don't want to have regrets. And I really wish that people would see what I see 
in this genre. I wish people would see the machine that we can all take advantage of. I'm talking about even just you guys listening. You don't even have to be a part of this business. You don't have to be a manager or an artist. You know, we have an infrastructure here that you can take advantage of. Now, some people are doing it. Some people are making hats and making T-shirts and making bracelets. I mean, that that's great. This is what we need. But, you know... You know, and it's and you can't force people to buy your shit, especially music. All you guys putting out records and you seeing that you're selling 20 units. Hey, listen, I don't sell records because I know the deal. Okay, I was in the se- record selling business for many years. I know, I know what you're up against. But don't be upset. Don't be upset. Even some of the biggest acts have put out new records and they went nowhere. Don't be upset. Try to understand why. It's not because people are untalented. First of all, we're in the digital age. Any record that you're trying to sell, I'm going to get for free. Yeah, I can say I'll support you. I'll give you a like on your Facebook page, but I probably won't buy your shit if I could get it for free, and neither will anyone else. Let's be real. Let's be real. So how do we overcome that? How can we, how can we fix that? What do you do? What do you do? If you're still putting out records and you're, you're trying to push the stuff and people are not buying and you're taking it personal, you're being upset, you say, nobody supports. I'm not going to buy shit I don't want to listen to. I'm not going to just throw away money. Nobody is. Nobody is. And even if it's a dope song and they love it, there's a good chance they could get it for free. You know? So it's important for us to understand this. If we understand this, then, you know, maybe we can make some moves. You know, we can, we can look at look at the situation and, and try to figure out, you know, what's going on and, and why and, and make a change. Listen, I write books. You know how much time? Books take a hell of a lot longer than making a, a racket, <laughs> you know? And it costs a hell of a lot more these days. Back in the days, yeah, to... Um, to manufacture a record was a lot of money because, you know, the productions alone were expensive. Now everybody's doing it from home. Some of these people are doing this shit from their phone. They have the freestyle recording studio app. <laughs> Press it, record, and, and distribute. Pretty much. Pretty much. You know? So see where we're at, you know, and, and, and you, know, we'll, you know, understand that people are not buying CDs People are not buying vinyl. You know, you can make a limited edition vinyl, but they're not going to make a profit on it. I'll tell you right now, because the vinyl is going to cost you a lot, a lot of, a lot to make. You're probably not going to sell enough to even justify it. But you might be able to say, "Hey, it's cool. I got one." I do things just to get it. I've paid, you know, you know, big money for things just so I can say I did it. I've done that. We all do that. It's the, you know, nothing wrong with that. You know. But I want everybody to understand, you know, where exactly the market is at. Stop looking at what everybody else is doing, please. Don't, don't even do that. Focus on what you're doing and, and enjoy it. If you enjoy it, time's going to fly. And it's not going to, the amount of time you, you, and effort you put into it, isn't going to matter because you're having such a good time. So just focus on what you're doing. Understand what is it you're trying to do. I'm sure that right now, a lot of the acts, especially if you're over 30, you know at this point, you're not going to have a super, you're not going to be a superstar. You're not going to make, you're not going to hit that number one record. I mean, for you to do that is going to be one hell of a task. I'm not trying to be negative Nelly here, but if we're not real to the situation, if we're not true to the situation, um, then what's going to happen? We're going to be chasing that until our last day. And then when that day comes that we slow down, we can't do anything, we're going to look back and we're going to feel like we wasted time. We were chasing something and it's going to be then that it all made sense. And then you're going to say, wow, 
I could have been doing this or I could have been doing that. So if you're putting out records, make sure they're records that you enjoy. Make sure that they're records that you want to listen to. Make sure that they're, it's almost like pieces of art. If you're an artist, you, you, you paint this magnificent painting and you put it on the wall. Somebody might want to buy it or it might just stay on your wall to the day you die. But as long as you can look at that painting and appreciate it and love it and have a connection with it, then it was worth more than the amount of money you would ever get for it. So you have to, you have to look at everything that you do in that way. Understand when fans are buying your music, they're not buying your music. They're buying you. They're buying the artists. They're not too concerned about this big record, this big hit, especially today. Everyone can download a record. It doesn't matter where you do it. Post it on, put it on YouTube. You can put it on Facebook. You can put it anywhere, social media. You can put it Spotify. There's always a way, even if someone has to play it and re-record it analog through the speaker into a microphone, they can still get it. And the quality of the, both the speakers and the mics these days can, can, give, can really, really surprise you at the quality that can come out there. So if somebody wants your record, they're going to get the record. So make sure, and trust me, I encourage you guys to not just do music, but do music every day. Like put a lot of music out there. What I'm trying, I'm not trying to tell you not to put the music. I'm trying to tell you, put the music out and put as much of it as you possibly can. Saturate the music, the market with your music. Yeah, it's always good. Listen, listen, quality is great. But it has to work for you. If you're just spitting stuff out, then well, you know, and people are not loving your music, well, then maybe then that's the, that's the problem. But that's not going to hurt the genre. So everybody says, oh, yeah, that's why there's no respect in the genre. Listen, you know how many rap records have been put out that suck? You know how many rap demos have been put out that suck? How many people have posted rap videos on YouTube and they suck. I mean, they really suck. Didn't hurt the market. Didn't hurt the market. So I'm not worried about what you put out. I'm not worried that, oh man, you're putting out so much crap. And that's why the market got hurt. Now, back in the days when we were relying on radio and radio was getting garbage record after garbage record from legitimate record companies, then what happened was they lost the faith. When they saw... A label, one of the record companies sent a record, okay? A lot of times, they could look at the label and say, okay, wow, this was whatever, Micmac or Fever or a cutting, and they could say, yo, I know this is going to be good. And they would put it on, and sure enough, it's going to be good. And, and it got like that until that one or two records came in that sucked. And then they would question it. And then another record came in, and it sucked. Now that label meant nothing. That label meant nothing anymore. It had no more, no, it held no more weight. So, yeah, back in those days, it affected us. Nowadays, it doesn't affect us because everything's subjective. What you think is incredible might suck to somebody else and vice versa. But what we do have at our disposal is we have the internet now, we have social media. So we don't need record companies. We don't need radio stations. We don't need A&R. We don't need producers. We don't need, we don't need, we don't need anybody. However, our game has to be 10 x We have to really intensify our game. Listen, I know my shortcomings. I know where I stand. I know where I was before, I know where I am now, and I know what I'm shooting for. So you, that's self-awareness. You need to know what you're about, what you can do, 
Don't fool yourself. Remember, your close ones, your mom and your, your wife and the people around you are going to say, you're the best. But are you really? Are you chasing the right dream? Is that the dream that you should be tra chasing? Now, if you have a regular nine to five and you're, you're happy and you're just like putting on these records and maybe doing a show here and there, then you know what? You're the luckiest person in the world because you're doing exactly what you want to do. And a lot of people cannot say that. So God bless you with that. But if you're shooting for certain things that might not ever come and it's really going to destroy you when it doesn't materialize, then you need, to, you, need to, you need to check that out because that could become a very unhappy experience for you and, and, and the people around you. Listen, I would love to hear, you know, more people ask me questions or let's talk about this. You know, coming to, as a community like this, we can we can really do a lot. But we have to get on the same page and we have to find that voice. We have to find that thing that we're trying to do. What is that big picture? It has to be clear. It has to be real clear. It can't be fantasy. We can't, you know... You know, what I was going at before is that when people buy records, they buy the artists. People love the artists. And, and then, you know, so that's what's being sold. That's what's being sold. And, you know, and the beauty of it right now is too, especially with like YouTube, you have the ability to present that artist that people are looking for. And with and with that, there's really no age limit. Okay, so this lots of possibilities. I mean, anything can happen because it's there. You just gotta really, really push hard. The odds are tight, though. There's a, there's a good chance nothing's gonna happen for you unless you're really hitting it over the head. Just be true to yourself. Understand who you are, your limitations, and put in your head before the next 10 years come, put it in your head what is it that you're trying to do, and picture yourself in 10 years, if you did not accomplish that, where would your head be? Would you be okay? If you'll be okay, then you're good. But if you're going to feel disappointed and you're going to have regrets, and if you missed your children going up, growing up and you didn't take those vacations with your, your spouse, you're going to have regrets. So you need to check yourself. You really, really need to check yourself. Speak to people who are honest and open. I don't claim to be a, an expert when it comes to, you know, picking and choosing music. But I do have a hell of a ear. I can hear. I can hear what you're doing. If you want to post stuff and you want to ask opinions, that's fine if you can handle it. I don't pull punches. And, and the reason I don't pull punches when it comes to music, you guys have no idea. Listen, I manage the little, little Susie and the Cover Girls. Do you have any idea of the amount of demos that come through here on a daily basis? Okay? A lot. And I try to listen to as many as I can. I really do, because I feel bad. I feel bad that someone went out of their way, especially if they, if they, if they know, if they've done their research, they know who, am I, who I am, um, and they're sending the, the proper music. They're not sending me a rock track for the cover girls or a country record for Susie. They're sending me very in line with what they normally do. But a lot of times, because they'll tell me in the, in, the, in the email, please give me your honest opinion. And I will. But remember, it's only my opinion. So don't, don't even go by that. But I'm going to tell you what I think. Because it, it will suck if I say, oh, that's a great record, but it's not for us. And that wasn't true. 
Because instead of you moving on or trying to perfect, I mean, trying to, to continue to push that particular record when you should be out there trying to perfect it or make it a new one, I'm doing a serious dishonest to you. So listen, uh, you know, shout out to everyone who's still got the dream, who's still got the fire, who's still out there hustling. I'm never going to tell you to quit. Never going to tell you to quit. I won't quit. I won't quit any of this until I drop dead. Trust me. My biggest fear in life is being incapacitated, not dying. It's being incapacitated, to, in, being unable to do the things that I love to do. I just want everybody to understand themselves, understand the limitations. And, and really, at our age, we have to open up and we have to, we can't live in a make believe world. Just be, you know, understand what you're doing. If you guys ever want to talk, I'm I'm available. Just reach out to me. Don't call me in the, in the middle of the day because a lot of times I'll be on the phone. But, you know, send me a DM or maybe I can set up a page. Or um, even on the Anchor app, if you guys have the Anchor app, there's a message button. Ask a question. I would love to answer it through the podcast so that way other people can uh, can hear it, you know? So, but no matter what, I'm rooting for you guys. I'm rooting for, for all of you. All of you. I don't want to see this genre go south. I really don't. And I cannot keep it up by myself. You guys are needed. The acts are currently touring on the Freestyle Explosions, which even with just them, it's not enough. We need you guys. We need everybody. And we need other people to explore the possibility of getting involved. I've always been on that kick. That's always been me. And if you have ideas, present the ideas. I might not want to be down with it. It might not be for me. But I might encourage you to to go ahead. I got people who want to read, write books. They know I've done six already. Yeah, I'm not going to write your book for you. But I'll give you some tips. I'll help you out. Whatever I can do. If I can help you, I can help you. I'll, I'll help you. So, anyway. That's it for now, guys. Um, it's been a... <laughs> been uh it's a good uh good eight episodes so far uh this tea i guess this tea helped i i think i don't know (laughs) but um i just want to thank you guys again for tuning in please share this um share this uh this podcast with whoever you think it might benefit put it on your page um if you have not binged yet go back to episode one and roll with me. I try to keep them short. Check out, you know, one through eight so you can catch up. Because I I want you guys to see what I'm trying to do. The podcasts are even going to improve, I promise you. But I want you guys to catch it from the beginning and kind of roll with me. Just give me give me some time. Remember, I'm doing this every single night. All I'm, I'm not thinking about how good I'm going to be tomorrow. Or the next day. But I am thinking about how good am I going to be at the end of this first 30-day run. And then how good am I going to be after the first six months? And how good am I going to be after the first year? This is what I'm thinking about. So I'm not worried about today or tomorrow. I'm not worried about the the hums and my, my sexy voice. I'm just going to keep going. And... um I just want you guys to follow along because uh, I, th- I think we can help each other. Again, my website is latifmercado.com. Very simple. If you're trying to find me at any capacity, whether it's my social medias, podcasts, my vlogs, my books, 
La Radio Live. All you have to do is go to that one site and everything's there. So you don't have to remember anything but my name and everything's there. Okay? And in there are all the links to those other spots. So it's not really a site where you're going to go and chill out. No, it's just a landing page where you're going to go to find the other connections back to me. But make sure you friend me and follow me on social media. Let me know you he- you heard this. I-, I-, I like to know. Um, and um, that's about it. So until tomorrow night, good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.